Where is our Lucino? Okay, so about now, a little bit of a drip marketing situation. We all know what's going on with Genshin, okay? They're under a lot of pressure and or fire, reasonably so too, because uh, we're, we're, we're not being rewarded enough for playing this game. But where is our Lucino? We've got one, we've got, our we've got two kind of harbingers in the game, right? Third one we saw um, did not make it by the name of La Senora. So where is Arlecchino? Where, where I'm standing at is we need Arlecchino and we need Arlecchino now. We need Arlecchino to get into the banners because these next few banners are not looking good. We've got the, we've got the Shanyan banner, which also, you know, has a five star Shanyan. And we've got Gambing in there as a four star. Barzan as well as Noel. Now this banner isn't the greatest thing of all time. In fact, it might even be bad. This might even be a bad banner. But new character coming. New character Shanyan. Pretty cool. And if you get C6 Farazan, pretty nice as well. But Noel, you already have C6. Come on. By now, we all have Noel C6. So definitely unfortunate there. However, it is nice to see a new four star character being it. Now for the weapon banner, this might be the weirdest weapon banner I have seen in existence. Okay, Lithic Spear, pretty cool actually, since you are using Leeway characters. Alright, so obviously we've got the two weapons that are for the catalyst. And they it's not it's not looking not looking good. Okay, these are very specific catalyst and they only work for certain characters right you've got an em1 and you've got a uh, attack percentage one it is just so specific that they're not even good on other characters and i think that this might be the most skippable weapon banner i have seen in a long time and sure it has sacrificial sword the sacrificial bow and claymore and fragments they've got the, the whole sacrificial combo here Sort of make up for it, but five stars are not looking good. Now, Nahida obviously being a Dendro Archon is amazing, super good, definitely worth pulling for. And C0 just looks absolutely amazing. Canyon, I can't speak for, haven't tried her yet, but she does look fun to play with. She's animal, so she has to be great. Just use VV set on her, and she'll be absolutely fantastic. However, you're looking at the four stars here and the worthiness of playing on these banners. And I would say it's it's a four out of ten. Okay. A two out of five, you might even say. Now, the reason for that is the four stars are just they've been here for a while. I'm speaking of Noah. Been here for a while. A new character gaming you can get for free at C0. And you, you can just skip that, you know, four wanting to get that four star. And Farzan, she's been on a few banners, but um, she's very specific to animal characters. So unless you want to help Shanyan do as much damage as possible, which I don't think you really want to because she's more of a support character, you kind of have an interesting scenario here, which I specifically think that you might not want the four stars in here. Which means we are waiting for the next character. And yes, I definitely mean... Arlecchino, come on. We want Arlecchino here. We are going to get drip marketing any second now. And I am going to cover it as soon as possible. Because that character is going to save Gendron Impact. I'm telling you now. Because they haven't even responded to anything from the backlash that they've received from both the end as well as the global standpoint for the rewards for the Lantern Rite. And as well as just no quality of life content changes no end game but my account right now is just looking for that Arlecchino to help build my harbinger team okay we're going to do a little bit of a guessing game okay i think Arlecchino is going to be a sword user don't quote me on this i'm just guessing and of course she does have the little as a pyro vision that we can see that i think is on her back and with that we can assume that she has to be either Claymore, but we just had a Claymore Pyro character, so I don't think it's going to be Claymore. I think it's going to be Sword. Now, we haven't had a Pyro user in a while. I don't know how long. I'm not sure who's the 
last pyro sword user i think the only one that has a pyro sword is bandit right now so having a new one would be pretty interesting and i would find that pretty also having a new pyro sword user pretty cool because pyros usually tend to be the fastest hitting character i'm using ayaka as a standpoint here because she has that charge attack we've got ayato with his normal attack and that is just super cool i just cannot wait to see the potential because i think she's going to be dps character being that we got a support character this patch maybe she would be a dps if it is the next patch that would be super awesome and maybe her kit would have something along the lines of a more burst focused build and maybe her e would maybe up her skill damage or her burst damage or something like that that would be interesting i just want to see something flashy honestly from arles gino even though she does seem more of like an elegant character but once she gets to fight it that is when things change anyways i don't know i'm bum at this point but i'm just hoping for the best subscribe to the channel and like the video to keep up with more content